I first became interested in the nurse anesthesia profession through a family member who's currently a CRNA. She encouraged me to shadow CRNA in the ORs and through that experience, I was shocked to understand that CRNAs have an abundance of knowledge of the pathophysiology of the medications and disease processes of their patients and that is what interested me in the profession. So the thing that led me to the profession of becoming a certified registered nurse anesthetist, also known as a CRNA, when I was younger, probably in my mid-teens, my mother is a labor and delivery nurse. Uh, she introduced me to one of her co-workers who was a CRNA uh, out in Portland, Oregon, and we talked about the profession and I really got a better idea of what exactly CRNAs were able to do, the scope of their practice, and how they're able to really make an impact on the care that a patient can receive in any type of setting, whether it's in the main operating room, in a labor and delivery suite, in an outpatient setting, in an orthopedic clinic. I chose to become a nurse anesthetist because I truly enjoyed my time in the ICU. Um, I thought that it was a satisfying profession, but I wanted to know more about why I was giving some of the medications and, and some of the uh, techniques that I was doing. Uh, there's something really satisfying about being so comfortable in a given situation to instantly change a person's outcome, to feel like you can come into a scenario, any given scenario, and be able to take control over it inspired me to become a CRNA was the challenging nature of this profession, the fact that one has to think critically and implement clinical and pharmacological knowledge at the same time to deliver different kinds of anesthesia really appeals me. I saw myself working in the operating room and talking to patients pre-operatively to see if they have any anxiety or pain or any kind of issue and to address that really appealed me. Also, post-operatively, we get to manage their pain and provide them comfort, that part really inspired me. I first discovered the profession of nurse anesthetist when I was in nursing school. I had the opportunity to shadow uh, in the operating room and that's the first time that I met a CRNA. Once I graduated nursing school, I was able to work in an ICU as a critical care nurse. And at that point, that's when I decided that nursing anesthesia was for me. And the reason why is because it takes critical care nursing and knowledge to the next level. A lot of the things that we do as a registered nurse, we do as a nurse anesthetist. And our primary goals are to keep the patient comfortable and as pain-free as possible. I was drawn to the field of nurse anesthesia because of the knowledge and physical skill set that I had seen nurse anesthetists employ. From providing a calming presence to patients in transit from the preoperative area to the surgical area, to inserting pain relieving nerve blocks that provide pain relief both during and after surgery, and being the airway experts within the surgical team, all to care for patients at their most vulnerable during surgery. Um, the ICU, you had a large amount of knowledge and for what we did, we were able to stabilize a patient, but now uh, almost finishing up anesthesia school, I feel so much more comfortable with any type of critical patient, uh, not only with their hemodynamic status and their um, respiratory status, but being able to manage their anesthetic care and dealing with their pain, which is a brand new aspect that uh, we got into in anesthesia. I was just really amazed by the fact that nurses can deliver anesthesia, and so it really was a profession that I was interested in from a very young age, and I built my career around that as far as going to a four-year BSN program, getting into an ICU after that, and then working my way into the Otterbein Nurse Anesthesia Program. Another part that really inspired me to become a CRNA was um, I came from Nepal. Being a student from Nepal where there is limited healthcare profession, um, I really want to learn and I want to work in underserved areas in US and go back to Nepal and train nurses over there about anesthesia because over there they are administering anesthesia without any formal training, especially in rural areas. Why do we want to become nurse anesthetists? Well, every breath, every beat, every second. We are there.